Ancient Spells, Unveiling the Magic of Language. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating topic, ancient spells. These phrases are not just about magic and wizards. They are a gateway to understanding the rich history and depth of the English language. So, let's dive in and unravel the mysteries of ancient spells together. Ancient spells are phrases or incantations that were used in historical times, often associated with magic and sorcery. They are typically found in old texts, folklore, and myths. In our context, understanding these phrases helps us appreciate the evolution of language and its cultural significance. For example, in Shakespeare's plays, you can find many references to spells and enchantments that reflect the beliefs and language of that era. The language used in ancient spells is often archaic, meaning it's old and not in common use today. This includes words like thou, you, and art, are. These spells also use a rhythmic and poetic style, which was believed to enhance their magical power. Recognizing these patterns helps in understanding Old English literature and texts. Let's look at some examples. 1. Double, double toil and trouble, fire burn, and cauldron bubble. This famous line from Shakespeare's Macbeth is an example of a spell. It uses repetition and rhyme, common in spells, to create a mesmerizing effect. 2. Abracadabra, often seen as a stereotypical magic word. This phrase dates back to ancient times and was believed to have healing powers when written in certain forms. Today, ancient spells are often referenced in modern literature and media, especially in fantasy genres. Understanding their origin and meaning adds depth to our interpretation of these works. For example, J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series is filled with spells that have roots in historical languages and myths. Thank you for joining us on this magical journey through the language of ancient spells. We hope this video has enchanted your understanding of English and its mystical past. Remember, language is not just a tool for communication. It's a bridge to history and culture. Keep exploring and stay curious.